sure got the life seek. Laying out here in the sun with your phasomatic static phase converter. Huh? What? You gonna install that? Hmm? This right here. You gonna put that in today? Had to mill a week, you don't even know if it's gonna run. It might run, but I don't know. What about this, so? You gonna use that? Check it out. Phasomatic. Pam 600. HD. 3 horsepower to 5 horsepower. Think what to put this in, Zeke? What do you think? In the shop. Might be a treat involved. Or food. You're not even interested. You must have ate already. Is that what it is? Alright, here we go. Alright, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to wire up this static phase converter. Plan is to uh, come out of this 220 outlet with SO cord and then come from the phase converter. I've already got cable in the seal type out of the phase converter into the three phase mode. So we'll be uh, doing that today. Just got to put a couple stake cons on there. It's relatively simple to wire this thing up. And hopefully uh, we'll get it going. It's uh, quite the challenge getting the machine home and sitting there a week only going on somebody's word whether it actually runs or not. So Here we go. <clears throat> now we're going to put some stake on connectors on here so we can have a nice neat installation. The wires. for a good clean installation. Looks like for this static phase converter you simply uh, run 220 to it to the, to the A and B legs. You got A, B, C in there. A, B, C. You run uh, 220 to the A and the C. Get in from the motor. A, B, C. Now I do have to put a, a grounding lug in here somewhere. I just need to ground it to this box. Uh, and we'll knock, knock these knockouts here and put our connectors in there. So here we go. Uh, installation of this is relatively simple. Uh, it did talk about having the 220 come in, go into the A and C, and then the three phase going to the motor. Didn't give you a grounding lug, so I put a, a, a bolt and a nut in there to attach my grounds to. Uh, so we're just about ready to start installing this thing. So I'm going to run this SO cord in there, clamp it down. Of course, some kind of, sometimes stake cons are easy to put on after you got them in the, in the box. I'm just going to do this with the external here. <clears throat> Taking these lugs loose on the inside of the box here. round uh, eyes so we can uh, just for a little bit more security so can with just a fork you know sometimes I guess they get one hooked under vibration and everything looks like I've got just enough wire to do this 
this way. I don't want to have to cut any off the machine. One could always use an extra hand doing this kind of stuff. Alright, so got our ground, our two legs. See, actually, depending on how the switch works, it may have to reverse one of these wires, but we'll see. I really should get a Phillips. Let me get a Phillips screwdriver here. give you much room to work in this box. Alright, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but uh, I've got the uh, 220 coming in on the uh, A in the C terminals. Uh, also got two of the terminals of the three phase motor. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect the final terminal of the three phase to the, to the C connector. Some kind of, it's called a ghost or phantom leg. Tighten it down. All right, it's all nice and tight. Tighten it up. seal tight here. you get a shot of the wiring. So you got the, the black SO cord. Got the SO cord coming in from the left and the three phase wires coming in from the right to the machine. I've got that in some seal tight that goes up to the drum switch. Just about ready to mount that up and see what we get. Let me go ahead and screw this thing to the wall and I'll get right back. I 
we're all plugged in. Mount it up to the wall. I guess the only thing left to do now is see if this thing works. I'm gonna get up there and review my wiring one more time before I turn it on. So here we go. All right, folks. About to see it live. Check the wiring. Everything looks good. Don't have the cap on it just yet. <clears throat> see what she's gonna do. Forward. It lives. converter it's operating like it should be the should be a red light kicking on while the capacitors charge it up and then it kicks out and runs in uh, three phase <laughs> the initial startup I notice that the uh, machine's actually running in reverse uh, so I just need to swap out reverse the A and C terminals that's going to the motor so I'm going to go ahead and knock that out real quick see if I can't get it going in the right direction Fine. 
final thoughts on this uh, phase of Matic. It's a PAM 600 HD. Uh, pretty short video here because it was just that simple hookup. You know, I've been sweating this thing trying to figure out I didn't know how big it was going to be. Uh, but this was great. Very easy. Works just fine. Hook it up in the beginning. Machine was running in reverse. Uh, just swapped to A and C. Back running in the right direction. So here we go. Phase of Matic. Uh, it's the PAM 600 HD for 3 to uh, 5 horsepower. Once again, I want to say thanks to all the folks that have taken the time to subscribe and hit the like button. I uh, really appreciate that. It makes it all worthwhile. Uh, keep on doing it. I'll keep making videos. Thanks.